It is almost 70 days has passed since the accumulation of the magma under the Swartzengi volcanic system has started. This is the reservoir we have at the depth. Magma accumulated. It should flow laterally toward the uh, Grindavik Rift Valley. Uh, it's not able to erupt in the Swartzengi itself. There is a reason for that. It's a geothermal system. is stable at the moment. It expands like a balloon. But it will lead to a conduit to what we call as a seal toward the east, toward the Grindavik Rift Valley, where we have a lot of fault lines and it's full of cracks to erupt and uh, appear at the surface. We can see through the boreholes that we have in the source and give power plant, the accumulation and the build of a pressure under the Swartzengi, and when it flows laterally, we also pick the signal for that in the form of the rise in the pressure. We are not seeing that. There is a reason for that, and I'm going to explain it. Lava behaves like a known Newtonian fluid. It's a fluid that when you stress it, suddenly it will become like a solid. It reacts like a solid, but under the constant vibration and stress, it will become liquid again. As you can see here, the example of it, you punch it under the stress, it is like a solid, and you can walk on it practically. And when it is shaken, like a ketchup uh, in a bottle, it will flow. Like this dough you see in the hand, uh, you can see that when you drop it, it doesn't flow. When you hold it in your hand, it flows. This is what we are seeing in the conduit, in the seal, under the Swartzengi, toward the Grindavik Lift Valley. The lava, which is semi-liquid at the moment from the previous eruption, is there. And the stress, sudden stress of the new magma coming toward there cannot pass through it. It's a non-Newtonian fluid. It will resist to give way. But the numerous earthquakes that we have there, every time, create a pathway. The earthquakes practically make this non-Newtonian fluid, which is the magma, which is not solid yet, um, is yet hot, in, to act and give way gradually to the fresh new magma, which is building up on the Swartzengi and want to push toward the Rift Valley. This is the situation that we have now, with the earthquakes opening it up gradually, but because of the previous eruption, we don't have solid material. We have this known Newtonian fluid, which resists movement. The earthquakes that we are seeing in that region practically try to open up that way for it by constant shaking and vibration. Like when we want to have the ketchup from a ketchup bottle, we shake it, we tap it to let it flow. Otherwise, if it not flow, it's thick enough to stay where it is in the bottle. And this is the situation now in the Sorsengi volcanic system. The lateral movement is hampered by the uh, semi-solid uh, hot magma. Eventually, through these earthquakes, the pressure will build up and will be able to Gradually through the earthquakes, we have eruption and reaching of the magma to the surface, creating a lava flow, which we all are waiting. The daily life is on hold until this happens, and then we have another time until next eruption.